There we go. Okay. So um, yeah, we were going to pick up with putting the window pane on this glass. And if I can in this video, also putting it into your house, so or your room. So um, what we need to do is create a new sketch. And we're going to do it on the same plane. Okay. And because we extruded the last one backwards, we're going to be able to extrude the wood this time forward. All right. So um, what we'll do on this, uh, let me pan a little bit. Okay. Um, we will create some rectangles. Okay. And um, do not choose, oh, it's not doing what I thought it would anyway. I was going to say, do not let it um, highlight the triangle and pick that triangle. It's probably because I'm doing this on a new sketch. Um, there's a reason. Uh, those triangles, if they show up, okay, like like this, um, there would be a triangle here maybe. That is a constraint that is trying to say, oh, this person wants to put uh, this corner in exactly the middle of this line, okay? Um, so if you see the triangle, do not select that. Oh, there was. Uh, yeah, so there's like a triangle there. Do not pick those triangles, all right? They will constrain it in a way, meaning that you will not be able to um, do what you want to do with it. Okay, um, so more on that later. Anyway, so we finished the sketch. Um, actually, we're not done. Let me edit this sketch because we need to make these rectangles better, don't we? Uh, so let's get rid of the data panel. Um, I'm going to go edit sketch. And uh, specifically what I want to do is um, get these dimensioned correctly. Okay, so yeah, we're going to make sure we grab this. Uh, line here and come over to the other line. Ah, it's not it's not showing up because it's on a different sketch. So what we need to do, let me uh, escape out of this, is we're going to do something um, called projecting. All right, so we will project this line, this line, this line, and this line. All right, so that's going to bring those into this sketch so we can use them. All right, so now if I go to dimension this, It'll let me choose those, okay? And um, you know, let's get in the habit of good uh, dimension practice, not on the object, bring it off of the object, don't put it to the side, put it in the middle, all right, a good distance away. And we want this to be uh, 19.5, okay? You'll see why in a sec here. Same thing over here, all right? Um, and we wanna line it up with the other one, don't put it below, don't put it above, put it right in the middle. All right, there we go, 19.5, enter. And now we have a nice inch um, wide pane, a uh, vertical pane. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with the horizontal pane. Bring it over here, about the same distance as the other ones away, not way away, not too close. All right, so about the same distance. And this is gonna be 24.5. And then do the same thing with the other one. All right, bring it the same distance away, 24.5. And there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to finish this sketch. We are finally done. Uh, we're going to put it at an angle because we're about to do something three-dimensional with it. And um, we are going to extrude uh, th these five things, okay? So if you had trimmed the middle there, you wouldn't have to worry about that right now. Um, yeah, but we did not, okay? So just make sure you select that. Select this, 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 and this, all right? And we want them to come the other direction. All right, and uh, so it's gonna be negative, and we want it to be uh, half an inch, all right, so 0.5, all right? Um, but before I hit enter, we're gonna change this operation. We wanna make this a new component. Why? Because it's different, right? It's separate from the glass, all right? So um, yeah, it's gonna be a different material, and um, we wanna think of it as two different parts, right? So um, there's different ways to make new components. This is an easy one, okay? So before you finish your extrusion, you're just gonna click New Component, and okay, all right. Uh, and so now to finish this, we will go to um, the materials. I'm sorry, just checking how much time I have left here. All right, and modify. Sorry, modify and material. And I would choose the same material you used um, for your walls, okay? So for me, that was cherry wood, all right? And so there's a few ways to do this. Um, I think you can just drag it onto there, all right? If that doesn't work, uh, drag it into here first and then over. Um, another way would be to even bring it all the way over to here, okay? Um, so while I'm at it, I'm gonna close this, I'm done with that. I'm gonna change the name on this just by clicking twice and we're gonna say this is the pane, okay? All right, so um, we've got you know our glass, we've got our pane. Uh, so let's, uh, oh, I was not gonna actually save this. Um, I'm gonna take another one I've already made and put it into the house. But I'm gonna pause this video uh, at this point.